are you doing? Doing great. We're really looking forward to this benefit for Jessica Huber this weekend at the Warhorse. That's coming up tomorrow night. Now tell everybody, give us the backstory, uh, the very tender, touching story about uh, why we're having a benefit tomorrow night. Well, um, I actually was in at the War Horse. I, it's a, a venue I've just taken over the booking for next to Antone's, and there was a little girl there uh, with her father, and she said, oh, we own the cheesesteak uh, cheese truck, a uh, food vending truck on Colorado and Fifth here in Austin. And I noticed that there, you know, that she had some injuries and whatever, and but the, just the most delightful child, and I had asked the bartender, who is that? And he said, you just wouldn't even believe it, Rachel. He said, uh, when that little girl was uh, 14 months old, her mother hit uh, a flatbed truck going 71 miles an hour and crushed that child's skull in four places. Mm. And uh, the doctors told her dad that she would never make it due to the, the surgeries, but... Um, she's had so many, bless her heart. And her dad bought that food truck um, in order to help pay for her medical costs. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, with all her doctor's appointments and um, with all of her injuries and continuing surgeries, the cheesesteak truck is just not enough. And mm -hmm. so that's why we're holding this benefit. This is the most delightful child for everything that she's gone through. And the fact that they said that she would never make it, and here she is uh, 11 years later, and such a delightful child. And I, I really suspect that that's completely due to her father, uh, Mark Huber, mm -hmm. who runs the food truck. Um, I, I've seen this guy pull 12-hour shifts, 13-hour shifts at that cheesesteak truck. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're trying to get him as much money as possible. He needs a new compressor for that truck. Mm -hmm. And um, he just, whatever he's doing, the three jobs the man has, it's just not enough. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to get people to come out to the War Horse tomorrow afternoon, Saturday, October 27th. And that will be from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, yeah. And, you know, I couldn't be prouder of our Austin musicians who have uh, uh, turned out and said, yes, I want to be on the bill. I want to help Jessica. Uh, give us an idea of the lineup that we're looking at. Well, from San Marcos in San Antonio, I have Randy Clark, um, who is, um, I guess you would say, an Americana rock uh, acoustic musician. Right. He'll be playing at 2. At 3 o'clock, I have Marshall Anderson, who is a singer-songwriter act from right here in Austin. And at 4 p.m., this is the most amazing thing. I met this kid. He's a 13-year-old guitar-playing uh, blues, loving Dylan Havens. He was just recently on America's Got Talent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they went from August uh, from Austin to Vegas, and um, he's an incredible guitar player for a 13 year old, and a really a lot of fun. And I can't thank the guys who are after him. Whiskey Logic, they're from Midland, Odessa, and Horseshoe Bay. They've come in to and agreed to back up Dylan even. So they're learning seven songs they've never played before just for this just for this benefit right and then at 7 p.m i have mike DeBose and the dissidents anybody locally knows mike DeBose. Yes. And then we have the austin staple the steel game <laughs> they'll be playing from 9 p.m i love those guys yeah That's my guilty pleasure band <laughs> it, it just reminds me of 12 year old boys playing in a garage somewhere you That's, know, they're, yeah there you go triple that right <laughs> <laughs> And then from 11 to 1, we have a special appearance. I'm not really supposed to say who it is, but they're also playing locally here in town. Okay. All right. Great. And again, that's tomorrow afternoon at the War Horse. Yep. 209B West 5th Street. Um, we're right next to Anton. Okay. Cool. Cool. Rachel, best of luck to you. And we're all uh, hoping for the best for uh, little Jessica and her incredible father. And uh, say thank you to uh, the folks playing over there tomorrow. And uh, thanks for sharing this story with us this morning. I really appreciate your help with this, both. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In the Crestview 